there to get their purities out, up and pour it, and obviously this thing will be quite slow, because if you try to measure you know, actions, you know, so we'll go pretty slow and I know exactly what he's doing, he knows exactly what I'm doing, so there's no surprises. That vacuum tube sample, uh, three grams will go to the lab, and they'll, they'll give us a little bit of morrow, make sure we've got the purity. So we've poured the bar, and I go and turn the gas off, and then we'll bring it up to level. You ought to see me run over it with a poker just to make sure it is solid enough. So we'll pick it up, bring it over to the table, flip it out, because it goes solid real quick, I'd say 30 seconds or so, you've got it, so it's solid. So we aim for 95% purity, and we do that via the reagent. So we're sticking in sand, borax, soda ash, and nitre, and those combine will keep the heat, keep it fluid, uh, draw out the impurities, and that's what all that black slag is coming off the top. So it's not gold, it's black, it's like obsidian. Put it in the water bath, but it only needs a few minutes to cool down right down so you can touch it. And then we'll pick it out and give it a good clean. We're quite lucky, uh, most of the bars we do are quite quite clean. Some of them, if they're doing low grade through the plant, they look a bit ugly and they look hard to clean, they're all quite black. So they're still 95%-ish, but they just don't look so pretty. But today we're pretty lucky. Anyway. Yeah, we're Let's get rid of that. And maybe you would have seen a few little balls of gold. So just to make sure they don't fall off in transit or get lost on the floor or whatever, just bang them down flat. So yeah, very soft. So to make a bit of a plane, put the number on it, and that's basically a recording. That is how many bars we've made since 1990. There ain't too many mines in the world that have reached 10,000. So they'll make more gold per day, yeah. but they're not. Crucible. Now this crucible is going to go into the furnace and the gold sponge is going to melt and we're going to pour out a pure gold bar. Now we're going to put this crucible in the furnace. This is a gas fired furnace, gas and forced air. And this furnace is burning at about 2000 degrees, between 1800 and 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this is going to take about, probably about 15 minutes for that to become completely molten and ready to pour. I'm going to say, say that, 
Molten uh, metal changed a little bit as the gold comes through, but it's okay. right at the very, very end. We'll only fill up the first one. Ah, good gold. Well, sometimes it's a bit hard to pick it. But it is there. Oh, gold, eh? Gold. So this is our gold bar getting ready to be poured. Jesse has opened up the furnace. He's gonna grab the crucible with the tongs. Very hot. And inside is all the molten gold. And he's gonna pour it right into this graphite bar mold. And there we have a red hot pure gold bar. We're gonna let it cool for a second and we're gonna tip it out of the bar mold. Solid gold.